Hello everybody. We're going to start a new project today. We're going to make a beautiful pink cotton. You could use any color cotton, but I'm using this pink sparkle cotton that I got. It's called I Love This Cotton. It's a pink. We're going to make a pink sparkled um, cotton dress for a little girl, okay, from ages one to two, depending on the size of the child, okay? So it's going to be really cute. It's called I Love This Cotton and I got it at Hobby Lobby and um, I'm not sure if we're going to need two skeins of this I haven't finished yet so on my first one so um, you might need two skeins of this and if you have extra you could always make a little hat a summer hat to go with it which I'm thinking make a little cotton summer hat to go with it and doing a project uh, later about that okay so let's get started we're going to need a six millimeter hook okay and I did 54 chains, okay? I just did 54 chains to get a little head start here. And then we're going to uh, join at the first chain, all right, to make a circle and make a little yarn over and make a little slip stitch right there, okay? Then chain up three. One, two, three. We're going to learn a new stitch here. It's called the star stitch, and it takes two rows to accomplish it. Uh, the first row is a little harder because, you know, you're just learning the stitch and you have to go into these chains, but it gets easier as you go along, okay? So we have these three chains we just worked up. In the second chain down, we're going to go in and grab a loop. In the third chain down, we're going to go in and grab a loop. And the chain that this come out of, see right here, it, it comes right out of here, this first one, the one you just joined with this, you're going to go right in there and grab a loop. Okay, so now you have four. Now on your chain, you're going to go into the next two chains. Go into the next chain, grab a loop, and go into the next chain. And, oops, grab a loop. So now you have six six loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all of your loops, okay? Then you're going to yarn over and make the little eye. See, it makes the little eye there. So that's the first part of your star stitch, okay? So let's do it again. Now this time, we're going to go in the eye, all right? Then this first crochet here, this first post, you're going to go right in there and grab a loop, that's three, go into this um, this chain that the post comes out of right here and go in there and grab a loop. Then in your next two chains you're going to go in, grab a loop, in, grab a loop, yarn over and go through all six chains yarn over and make the eye and this is the beginning of your star stitch okay and it's going to be really cute around the neck and um, we're going to do a couple of rows of these uh, we're going to do this and then a chain and then this it's, it looks really pretty when it's finished okay so let's try that again we're going to go in the eye grab a loop go in the in right here between that first post grab a loop Go in the chain that the, that post came out of, grab a loop. And then in the next two chains, go in, one, grab a loop. Go into the next one, grab a loop. Now you have six. Yarn over, pull through all six. Yarn over and make your eye, okay? Now let's do it again. Let's do it a few times. We're going to do this all the way around the neck area here. Okay, we're going to go into the eye, grab a loop, go into the post, the first post, right between the first and second post, okay, right here, grab a loop, into that, see this, this post comes right, see this chain that the post come out of, go right in there, grab a loop, and then go into the next chain, your next chain, grab a loop, and your next chain, and grab a loop. Yarn over, 
pull through all your chains, yarn over, and make your little eye. See how pretty? I love this stitch. And the next row completes your star stitch. Two rows makes the star stitch, and the second row is really easy. Okay, so once we get through this first row, it all becomes a little easier. So let's do it again. We're going to go in through the eye, grab a loop, go through the first and second post, grab a loop, go through the chain that the post comes out of, grab a loop, go through the next chain, grab a loop, and the next chain, and grab a loop. Now you have six on your hook, yarn over, pull through all the loops, yarn over, and make your little eye. So I want you to continue that all the way around. Keep practicing, you'll get it. And it gets easier as you do more and more, just like anything practice make, makes perfect. So I'll meet you around um, when I hit the end of this row and show you how to end it and go to your second row to complete your star stitch. Okay, I'll see you when we get back. All right guys, we're at the end of the row here. And um, we're gonna do one last star. We're going to go into the eye, then we're going to go in between the first and second post here, grab a loop, then we're going to go into the, the um, chain that the post came out of, then we're going to go in the next two chains, the last two chains, one and two, and then yarn over and pull through all six, yarn over and do your last eye. Okay, and now we're going to go one, two, three, and on the top right here, the third chain, you're going to do a slip stitch. And make sure you pull it real tight so there's not a big space there, okay? For the neck, see? You know something? Let me go back because I don't like how that looks. I'm going to do it a little bit different at this ending. So let's do it again. We're going to go in the eye, come out. Go between the first and second post, come out, go through the um, chain that the post comes out of, then go through the next chain, pull out, next chain, pull out, then go into this bottom chain to connect the bottom chain from the previous row, see, right here, on the bottom, let me go through this bottom chain, okay, Grab an extra loop so you have seven. Yarn over and pull through all seven. Yarn over and make your eye. That way it's tighter. See how it brings it together? I like that look better. And now we're gonna go up to the top, this top chain right here from the previous row, right there, that top chain, and make a slip stitch. Go in, grab your yarn, and make a slip stitch. Oh much better. See how tight that is now? That's really nice. Now we are going to go up one, okay? We're going to go back into this right here, this first chain, and do a slip stitch. Then now we're just going to go into each eye, all right? We're going to go each eye. We're going to do two single crochets in each eye, one and two. Go into the next die, do two single crochets, one and two. Go in the next die, one single crochet, two single crochets. Okay, so in every eye you're going to do two single crochets, one and two. And see how it's the completion of that pretty star stitch? I love it. So. Keep going into the eyes and doing two single crochets. Go into the next eye, do one, two. Do that all the way around and I'll meet you at the end and tell you our next row. All right, I'm at the end of the row here. I've done two, two let me just end it here with you together. The last star stitch, the eye, we're gonna do two single crochets right in there. Okay, and then you'll see the previous row, you, you're going to go right in there and connect it <clears throat> and do a slip stitch. Okay, so now you got this beautiful star stitch all the way around. 
by your, the neckline of your garment. Now we're going to chain, let's see, what are we doing now? We're chaining four. One, two, three, four. Actually, the first one is five. Chain five. Now you're going to skip the single crochet, the first one. See right here, you're going to skip that first stitch. Go into the second stitch, okay, and do a, a single crochet right there. All right. Now we're going to chain four. One, two, th three, four. So you only did five on the first one. So now it's four. Skip a, skip a stitch. And the next stitch, do a single crochet. Okay, so it looks like that. Now do chain four. One, two, three, four. Let me get some yarn here. Skip a, skip the next stitch, and in the next stitch after that, do a single crochet. So it looks like that. And you're going to do that all the way around. And I'll meet you at the end, and I'll show you how to go to your next row. Okay, so you're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Skip a stitch here. Go into the next stitch. Do a single crochet. Okay. And you're going to do that all around the, the, that row, okay, for that row. And then I'll come back here and show you how to go to your next row. All right, we're at the end of the row, and this is how it should look, okay? It's like a little circle. It's stretchy, so the head would fit in there pretty good, okay? There you go, see? Good size head. <laughs> Even a Burke head, we have big heads. Uh, <laughs> so I think that should be good. Anyway, um, we're gonna, I'm gonna do my last four chains. One, two, three, four, and go into this first chain on the bottom, see, this first chain, and do a slip stitch and join. All right, so that's how it's joined together. Now I'm going to slip stitch one into the first, this first hole, and two. All right. I'm going to chain up one. All right. And in this same hole, now we're just a little further up on the, on the little loop, okay? You want that. All right, we're going to go three single crochets in each of these holes. One, two, three. All right, three single crochets right in there. Now we're going to go to the next hole. Chain space, they call it. One single crochet, two single crochet, and oops, three single crochet in every chain space, okay? So now we're going to move to the next chain space and do three single crochet. One, two, and three. All right. Go to the next. Do one. Oh, one single crochet. Two single crochets. Why does that keep falling out? Sorry. And three single crochets. Okay. Three single crochet in every chain space, and I'll meet you at the end to show you how to go to your next. Um, I think we're doing the star stitch again, and I'll show you how to move to your next row, okay? 